Good morning, party people! Today is Friday the 17th. Not sure what day number we're on, but probably like 28 or 29. But today, we're gonna make some pizza dough. We see you. That's why we put you over there. I already got the salt in and the yeast and the flour. Now all we have to do is put in some water and mix it on up. Put it in that clean bowl with a little bit of olive oil and it's good to go. Sloan is really trying to supervise all that's going on here. Using the leftover chicken that we had, we made some chicken salads. First time in a long time we've had Natalie Thai. Mm-hmm. So we got some California curry, some pad thai, and wontons. Mm-hmm. So Alex is feeling inspired by his mom. He's actually got the sewing kit out. Yes, that's an old school caboodle, original. My mom broke down one day and bought it for me in Mervyn's. All right, so we got all different kinds of face masks. Got zebra print, there's the mustache print, the rifle paper company, flowers, and even a black chevron. I like it, I like it. Correction party people. He's not waiting to sew them, he's gonna sew them now. Today is Saturday, April 18th, and it is day 30 of the LA quarantine. Sloan! Good morning, party people! Today is Saturday, April 18th. We are on day 30 of the quarantine. Today, I am going to tie-dye a sweater that I ordered from Target. It's really big, and it's obviously white but it reminds me of clouds so I'm going to use the crinkle technique and hopefully have it come out looking kind of like clouds and have it be really crinkly splotchy goodness so let's get started Check on this uh, pizza dough that we've made. Check in on the pizza dough. Pizza dough, pizza dough, pizza dough. And it's stuffed crust. Where's the stuffed crust up here? Corner. All right. Good morning. 
and party people! Today is Sunday, April 19th. We're on day 31 of the quarantine. Can you believe it? It's, it's just crazy. Yesterday, I tie-dyed a sweater and it came out really well. I wanted it to look like clouds and this is the final, final version. I love it so much. I'll put the hook in so you can kind of see and get the full effect of it. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I also dyed this shirt and I kind of ombre it a little bit. A little bit. A lot of it. But I think it looks great. This is only my second time ombreing a shirt. I can see like a couple little spots that I should have hit up again. So the next time I ombre something, I'm definitely going to do that. Today we are just hanging out at the house because it's quarantine. What else are you going to do? Have some lunch, have some dinner. Tomorrow I think I'm going to tie dye though. We might even spend some time out in the back today. I might do my nails out there. Might be a nice thing to do. Might be fun to do my nails out in the backyard now that we have everything out there and it's a beautiful day. So I think that's what I might do too. Get out there, read, do my nails. Be a nice day. All right. I think I, I think I have that too. Found one that was not open. Just opened it. Ooh. Check out how many he's got. A couple hundred over here. Ask for something upbeat. I mean, it's also 420. So, bust out the Bob Marley. I can't believe he had one. He hadn't opened yet. Premiere playing. Oh, well, copyright reasons. We can't actually listen to it. <sighs> All right, good morning, LA. Oh, no, that's not how it goes. Good morning, party people. All right, today is April 20th. We are on day 32 of the quarantine. Today, we are just chilling. We went to Home Depot, picked up a couple things. I am going to redo the cat's tree with like sisal on it. So that's gonna happen, but first, I'm going to make some lunch. I think I might make some ramen because it's a little gloomy outside and you know your girl loves a ramen. I think I'm going to have some ramen for lunch. Yay! Alright, as I told you I was making ramen. It's all done. My egg, my carrot, my onion, my endamame, my water. Yes! Lunch time! Good morning, party people. We went to Winchell's, got us some donuts. They were stocked. Nobody's getting donuts right now. Good morning, party people. It's been a great day so far. Today is Tuesday, April 21st. We're on day 33 of the corn. I've got my ombre shirt for you to see it. Got my ombre shirt on today that I dyed blue. I love it. Today already we went to Winchell's, the donut place, got some donuts. They are so fresh and amazing. Oh, such a good choice for breakfast. Today, I know I said I was going to do this yesterday, but today I'm going to fix the sisal scratcher. I've got all my tools and I'm ready to go. It's a beautiful day outside. I need to take the scratcher outside to actually take the rope off because Sloan has just disintegrated the rope. So I can't do it indoors. It'll be too much of a mess. I got to go outside. So let's get it started. <laughs> so much better. Almost looks brand new. It looks like that there's a gap, but there's not. It's just a dark piece of rope. 
But yes, I am very happy about this. It looks great. Let's bring it in and show Sloan. There you go. There you go. Come get it. Is it happy? Yeah. That's all I did. I just resistled it. I did it just for you because you're the only one that loves this. Yeah. Tear it up. You like it? They used to be kind of khaki color, and now they are this beautiful blue jean color and kind of ombre, like darker at the toe, lighter on the heel. But I think they look really good. The khaki color before just always looked really dirty. And this, this looks great. I'm in love with this tie-dye kit. Just in love with it. My goodness. Got your emergency because quarantine. No, life. This is what it looks like. Doesn't it look so good? I mean, like the sewing on it, it looks amazing. I think you did a really, really good job. I can't believe it. And then the inside is like this cool zebra print, which I'm in love with, but he's doing all different kinds. I will put a link to the tutorial for this mask down below, but it's one where you can put one of those filters in through the side and have really good protection. Make it almost like a, I guess you make it into an N95 mask when you put one of those N95 filters through it. I can't believe my hubby is making these. It looks amazing. Good morning, party people! Today is Wednesday, it's April 22nd, and we are on day 34 of the quarantine. It's kind of crazy, but day 34, here we are. Lately, I've really been into, I mean, who hasn't been into crystals and all their healing properties and this and that. One of my friends, Sonia, has been getting the crystals and sending them to me. She's so sweet. Thank you, Sonia, for all of that. But my cousin um, is a massage therapist and herbalist, I believe. But that's, yes. And she told me to get this book, Love is in the Earth. I really love it because of the format of it and how it kind of tells you energy and all, all about every single crystal. This is really cool and it's super thick too. It's like a big Bible. This is awesome. Thank you to all of the ladies. Today, what are we going to do today? I kind of gotten to that point where it's like we're waiting on things from Home Depot in order to be able to paint or do other projects around the apartment. So while we wait, I guess I'm just going to chill. It's a beautiful day. We are experiencing a heat wave today. So I think I'm going to take my book outside and read for hopefully like an hour or two. Alex is still working on the face masks that he's been sewing up and they look so good. He's just busting them out too. I think it's crazy how many he's able to make in such a short amount of time, but let's go check him out. Doing it. Gonna see all that are being made right now. He's got all this fabric. He's cutting up elastic. Yesterday while I was at while I was outside, I finished You Are a Badass, which I have been reading for a really long time, but it's one of those books that you can put down and then pick back up, and it's just, it's very inspiring and positive. Of course, in the end, I felt super inspired to actually start my cookbook. I love to cook, I love to bake, always been my thing, and I love to do it mostly with my family and my friends, but I've always wanted to make a cookbook. I do want to kind of float the idea to my church to maybe do a cookbook fundraiser for them, and maybe make it a little bit different where within the fundraiser and the cookbook we actually have photographs of recipes. And maybe whoever submits the recipe can also submit the photograph. I, I don't know. Um, but it's something that I used to do back in the day for like my grandmother. She had a lot of cookbooks from the church. And I think it might be a good place to start to volunteer to do a cookbook for the church. Really wanted to start doing my own cookbook. And of course, who am I inspired by but Ina Garden. I mean, she's amazing. Has multiple cookbooks. I love Molly Gay, but Molly Gay only has one cookbook and then another paperback that's a yogurt book. So I feel like Ina Garden has published multiple books she knows what she's doing and I love the layout and the beautiful photographs within her books I would love to try to model my cookbooks after hers so I got myself some contents going and I've already started to write down some of my favorite recipes 
And what I think I'm going to do is kind of like have this as the content pages and then write the recipes in back here. It's just easier for me to list them out and kind of see all that I wanted to publish. It's really crazy for me to sit back and be like, I want to be published and I want to have my book published, but that's really it. In this book, she said think about what really makes your heart flutter, makes you just get so excited. And having my own cookbook would make me so excited. Started it. This is, this is where you got to start, right? You have to start by writing things down and putting it all together. Get it started. So I got the ball rolling on that. Now that I've got that all started, I think the rest of the day is going to be me hanging out outside and um, enjoying the sunshine. So... This is our little backyard area. Um, I'm starting to really fall in love with it a lot. As you can see, I'm reading back here, coloring, and doing yoga, which I don't wanna show you too much of me doing. Check it out. So Alex got me an arrow garden. Look at all of our tomatoes. All of these little flowers are going to turn into tomatoes. And some of the plants already have tomatoes on them. I'm sorry that the light is being all weird. It's because of the, the light coming from the, the plant. And we planted all different kinds of tomato plants in here. I can't believe the growth of them. This is our second time growing them. First time it took us a long time, or at least it felt like it took a long time for us to even get cherry tomatoes. But this time around, wow, we have got so many and we've got a lot of flowers. So I'm super excited. I just trimmed all of that off of the plants so that they could get more light. Do you have an arrow garden? If you do, like, let me know what you're growing and how it's going. So many tomatoes are about to be here. I'm so excited. So we are making pizza tonight. We've got our dough. We've got the pepperoni for Alex's pizza. And I'm gonna have a vegan chicken, barbecue chicken pizza. You know I'm going to use the best barbecue sauce in the world. This stuff is so sweet and so delicious. Okay, maybe it's vegetarian then, since it's not vegan, because it does have cheese, you're right. But we're gonna do stuffed crust. So we've got everything ready for stuffed crust as well. This is my vegetarian barbecue chicken pizza. The only reason it's not vegan is because of the cheese. Homemade pizza, coming at ya. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Mm. Barbecue chicken, yeah! Good morning party people! It's April 23rd. We are on day 35 of the quarantine. Can you believe it? Wow. It feels good though. It feels like we're in a good rhythm. Today, Alex went golfing up in the valley because one of the golf courses opened. And I mean, on the golf course, you can stay close to people in a group, but also you're able to stay far apart. So I think it's good that they reopen the golf courses. Day 35, Thursday, April 23rd. This morning, I had some peanut butter toast and now it's around lunchtime and I just made myself some ramen, letting it cool a little bit before I eat it because it can be real hot right off the stove. Lemon, delicious. So excited to dig in. You can see the steam, so it's still super hot. I gotta wait just a minute. And then because it's such a mellow day, the only other plan really was to edit this video to be able to get it up tomorrow and go in the backyard and color after I'm done editing. Editing can take me a really long time. It can also not take a long time. It can only take a couple of hours sometimes, and sometimes it'll take like five or six hours. Today, I'm going to get outside while I can and edit a little bit, color, because yesterday I got my little frog done, as you can see, and I'm gonna continue on coloring a planner for a magical 2020. I really like it a lot. That's my plan for today. Uh, nothing else to say, really. Let's eat. Well, I just want to mention how proud of myself I am because it has been 35 days of the quarantine which means that I have been vlogging for 35 days straight and been able to edit and upload I believe every Friday if not on Thursday it was every Friday I need to check in on that because I have just been trying to continue on with it and to not get discouraged and to keep turning on the camera every day the fact that I've been able to do that for 35 days straight I think is awesome I am very proud of myself for that. Just wanted to let y'all know that, that's all. 
I'm gonna start editing the video to get it up for tomorrow. So I wanted to just say thank you all so much for subscribing. You can hit that little bell icon and it will notify you every single time that I upload. Also, you can give this video a thumbs up or a like. It will actually help with the algorithm a lot. If you don't know what that means, it doesn't matter. It means uh, it won't hurt you if you, uh, if you hit that button. I'm Heather. Thank you all so much for subscribing. I hope you all are staying safe and I'm gonna get to editing this video. Bye!